Bath Football has hired Parker Orgeron as a quality control, control coach and defensive analyst. Yes, he is related to Ed Orgeron. It's because he is the son of Ed Orgeron. But to explain his background, he played at McNeese State from 2016 to 2018, but concussions sidelined his career, so he decided to follow his father's footsteps and became a coach. In 2019, he was a student assistant at McNeese State. Then he was a player development intern at LSU like from t September 2020 till his dad's firing. Then obviously this past year, he was the offensive analyst and who worked with tight ends at Louisiana Raging Cajuns. Though he, he wasn't the tight ends coach by any means. So that's, he's elevated himself to a higher level. So I think it's a good hire, but we'll have to wait and see. And of course we need to still see who's gonna be the new running backs coach and everything. But I would say, let's be patient. I mean, it's probably gonna be a week or two. They probably got some guys' names in mind and they're probably gonna to try to do it quickly or and do their due diligence as well because look the last thing you want to do is make a bad hire and then fire a guy within one year I mean that's the worst thing you could do now in terms of the roster situation there still could be Tristan Gebbia from Oregon State I know he didn't have great stats over there but he was starting 2020 in a, in a reduced COVID year but then he got hurt and missed all of 2021 and by the time he got healthy he was they had no plans for him at quarterback so we could still get a commit for him he's crystal balled right now to go to Baylor but crystal balls don't mean anything I know there's been some talk about Gabe Ju Judy Lally the BYU cornerback that might not happen because of a Dre kind of similar to a Dre Edwards situation and Look, that like class is transferring over, lose so many hours. So they're probably finding another cornerback to the handle I get in the transfer portal for the early period, real quickly because we don't want to go without one corner, another well, corner. I would think, I would think so. Obviously, we want another safety, but the thing is, the safety position we'll have to wait till the spring after the spring ball. And same goes for wide receiver because that Division Two wide receiver Isaac Tesla, he's going elsewhere to Ar Arkansas now. So there's going to be that offensive line. I would say get another offensive line, is particular at center. Defensive line could be needed if T.J. Franklin and Gabe Hall don't come back. Even if they come back, that could be still a possible need. So that's not a lot of needs left. But in order for some of this addition to happen, he's got to have some attrition. I mean, from dead weight guys, as in guys who are juniors and seniors that don't hardly play. I mean, you've got to move on from those guys, and hopefully they, they we need to tell them, look, you could start somewhere else. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. So, let's just be patient on this transfer portal stuff. We're going to probably find out stuff within the next couple days, either today or throughout before Monday, because that's when classes start on commits, especially if they want to enroll early. So, as from the transfer portal from the early period. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. I see you guys later. It's going to 500 subscribers. We're on the road to it. Let's go.